my stuff is a copy of the NHS. So James says, where did these figures come from? So the there's the tote cable I'm going to use as a stop switch, um, which will screw in down here, but I need something to clamp it up here. It's got a bit of aluminium. So essentially what I'm after is a clamp that will hold the outside of the cable. Now if I bend that, I use a screwdriver as a former. I can crimp it on there. So then I've got the, that's a basic clamp. And then with a hole drilled, and a little five mil bolt for it. So the bolt will now clamp. The washer spreads the load out onto this area. So you may remember those headlights I took out. Brit part lights, which had uh, Dissolved away to nothing. I bought replacements <laughs> a long time ago. So, here's an unboxing of a. Oh, check this out. This is um, snails, I think. This is not a brick park kit, this is ring. Yeah, they look quite nice. So this is a halogen conversion kit that I bought. Yeah, God knows when. Years and years ago. So now I've got to work out how to get these. Oh, I see. All right, so I can take this. That's what I've got to do. So here's the new, the new actual lens. I gotta get this housing bit off. Good job I didn't throw these away then. That's right. So this housing bit will come off and then they'll sort of bayonet into the um, existing pods. Yeah, that's the way of it. Cool. Let me do that soon then. So here we are slogging away on the um, electrics. It's all a bit slow and visually uninteresting at the moment, so I'm not filming all that much. Doing it from scratch, the benefit is that I've, I now have got my head around all the bits that go behind this. And that's one of the reasons I like the old Land Rover is because that is possible. It's possible to get your head around the wiring diagram. Because that's, that's it, that's all there is to it. That's the entire vehicle. Whereas, the Discovery that I've got and the Range Rover that I've got, oh, just a, it's like a telephone exchange inside, I've got no idea. And there's just wires going everywhere and you've got no hope of chasing them through. Whereas this, this kind of electrical complexity, I feel I can cope with. So that to me is a great comfort. I, I much more enjoy um, vehicles that I feel like I can uh, fix should anything untoward happen. I'm mostly going off of, so I'm replacing a lot of the wiring because it's caught fire twice since it's been in this vehicle since I've owned it. Um, and yeah, you can see the results of one of those. Yeah, a bit of excitement you don't really want when you're driving. So I've got a wiring diagram from the Series 2 Club forum website. And this is the wiring diagram from a Series 3 diesel, which is what the engine came out of. So it's the closest to what I'm trying to create here. So I've got enough of the cable, mostly the right colour actually, which is, which is good. And I'm making one important um, improvement over the original. I'm putting in a fuse box. These are dirt cheap off eBay. Um, this is a four-way fuse box. 
and what's nice about it is it just uses bog standard blade fuses. So that's a lot better than the, because the Series 2, well I don't think I had any fuses on before. Also where it goes through the bulkhead into the dashboard, I'm now being very posh and using actual grommets. Because again these are dirt cheap off eBay, all this stuff is, is really easy to find now and um, yes, it just wouldn't occur to me to use it before. Um, you know, you just use loads of tape and bodge things together and yeah, so it's just as cheap to do it properly. So yeah, that's that. Here's my. This is going to be the foot-mounted um, high beam, low beam switch. This is actually the one off my Russian lorry, but it's very similar to the Land Rover original, except that this one works. Um, that's about it so far. So what I'm looking forward to is once I've done the wiring, uh, well, once I've done most, some, of the, once I've done a bit of wiring at least, um, I can then now uh, put some fuel in it, put some water in it, and try firing this up, and it should drive around. I won't have any brakes because that wheel cylinder started leaking, and the handbrake release is stuck, but I should be able to to and fro it at least. The paint's come up, this is two coats on the bulkhead and it's looking reasonable. You wouldn't mistake it for a spray job but it's not bad. Kind of smart narrow boat I'd say, I've got it up to. That'll do for now. Um, I'm going to go over, I'm going to paint all the rest later. I think mainly my priority now is just to get this legal on the road because I need to, I'm just relying on a motorbike and, and people helping me out for yeah, load carrying and I need a vehicle, a more serious vehicle, well not, it's not really serious is it, uh, high capacity not really, I need something that can tow a trailer, yeah that'll do, right, so plot them with the electrics and then try to fire it up. 